Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be upgrading and replacing the rear wiper on my Lexus RX350. At first you might think you need these little pry bars to get this piece off, but that's not the case. Uh, they won't work on this. This actually comes off by hand, at least the first part. You just pull this little protective cover in opposite directions, and then you'll see the little two rubber pins that are holding it on. So you just basically pull those apart and that comes off. From here on out, we're going to be using tools. You can either use a socket or an open-ended wrench. I usually like to use the gear wrench on the other end there, but it's not enough clearance, so I'm using the open-ended piece. And that comes off without too much effort. The front wipers, you obviously don't need tools to replace, but you do the back. And I figured might as well just upgrade the whole thing instead of trying to get the wiper because of how weathered it is. Anyway, you can see I'm having trouble getting it off. It's probably been on there since the car was new. It's probably stuck, rusted on. So I'm going to try a couple different methods here. First will be WD-40, just kind of protecting my glass and paint from the oil with a towel. I'm going to spray and let that soak for a few minutes and pause the video and I'll be back in just a second. All right, so that was about five minutes with the video paused and it's still stuck. I can't get it off. So now I'm going to have to pop it loose with a hammer. I've got a block of wood on the window to protect my glass and I'm going to just apply, oh, there it goes. Apply just enough pressure, not too much. You can break a window doing this if you really push into it, so just be careful. All right, so here's my aftermarket replacement. Um, I could not get anything at the local auto parts store or Walmart because they were sold out of my size. So I'll put a link to the one I got on Amazon. But first of all, here's the old one. I'm just comparing the mechanism of how it pops in um, to make sure that I've got the same setup with the new one. And I do. You'll see it's real nice looking, new black plastic, and it pops in very easily. And I consider this one an upgrade to the one that was on the car originally and I'll tell you why in a minute but this one's ready to go and I'm going to take off the protective housing the way I did the first time for the old one and it just slips right over that stud and now I'm going to replace the nut Here's my gear wrench. Not quite enough clearance, so I'm going to use the open end. Don't over tighten this. It does need to be tight, but don't over tighten it. You don't want to break or crack anything. And then there's those little rubber pins again. Just put it back on the way you took the other one off. You can already see how much nicer the new wiper looks with just the new black plastic. It's not, not weathered and sun beaten. Now let's try it out. Now that's a nice feature. I'd consider this an upgrade over what I had because my 2007, the original one, wouldn't pop up like that. And it's nice to be able to get a towel or a squeegee under there when you're washing the car. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with this and I will leave the Amazon link for this wiper arm in the video description. And let me know what cars you're working on, if you're doing the wipers or anything else. Uh, any other questions about this video, drop them in comments. And if I help anyone out, please like and subscribe. Thanks. See you next time.